it is good to be here tonight, church. I thank God for this opportunity because God is truly a good God.
they come to the house of worship. Because when you get caught up in the crowd, the crowd will crucify you. So we are asking a question tonight. Who is on the Lord's side? And I pray that this message will be a blessing to someone, even just one. And by the grace of God, my labor will not be in vain. We see in the scripture that Moses is the speaker. It is time of judgment among the children of Israel. Spirit. 
Oh, my brothers and sisters, you got to stay on the Lord's side. Because the world is evil. It's the Bible says, who gave himself for our sin? That he might deliver us from the present evil world according to the will of God our time. The Bible says, the Lord said, who is on the Lord's side? I thank God that I am on the Lord's side. God has been good to me this day. Live and believe in Christ for eternal life. When you believe that God will give you eternal life, you will be on the Lord's side. If he is your personal Savior. Jesus said unto them, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed in me, though he would be, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. That's what the Bible says. He said, believe not this. That is when you're on the Lord's side. She said, she said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ and the Son of God, which should come into the world. But the Bible also tells me this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to hell who might be saved. Then be on the Lord's side. Can you tell me, how can I get on the Lord's side? I'm glad you asked that question. When you stop calling around on God and put him first in your life, but what you mean, preacher, that is when you stop putting your curriculum activities before the Lord. You should be willing to give God your reasonable service, whatever keeping you from serving the Lord, and come to the house of God.
We all need to ask ourselves that question. We need to ask ourselves that question. Because God is not playing with us, church. You can't do anything you won't do. And saying that you on the Lord's side. We can't treat people any kind of way. And saying that we on the Lord's side. We can't be lying on our brothers and sisters. Smiling in the face and stabbing them in the back. And saying that you on the Lord's side. I pray that this message be a blessing to you. Amen. Amen.